So right now we've been in what's called model space. So AutoCAD has two types of kind of like work environments. One is model space, the other one is paper space. So if I wanted to actually print on a piece of paper, you need to lay out the drawing which we made. So whenever you're going to model something, think of that as model space. And then paper space is just how would you put this on a piece of paper? That's the easiest way around. Some people get so confused with this, but that's the easiest way. If you look at the bottom, by default, it makes two like um, paper space layouts. And when you click this, see how now it looks like a white piece of paper and our drawing is on it? Um, you can right click here and you go to Page Setup Manager, and this tells you some information. It's on an 8.5 by 11 and then it has like a window so you can modify this you can make this print to PDF you can make the size like whatever you want 11 by 17 like landscape portrait and then up here you can have plot styles whether you want grayscale if your firm has one they're usually there here remember on the layers it gave you the colors the, the plot style and it has the color so this is dependent on the color so depending what color you assign to the layer that is do you want to use the object color or do you want to use a standard color so depending what color let's say we made our layer color one the red one here you could set it so that instead of printing automatic you could use um, a different line type you could use um, instead of one of these pens so where is my here line weight you can use a thicker one um, you can use a different style for the endpoints so all these things I, we can watch live in illustrator once we start to clean it up there here you just kind of have to guess and then print it and see what it was in illustrator we can have full control of these individually not just across a whole layer um, so some firms use pen styles, so that's what these are. Uh, you can set up a pen to remember all these, and then you assign the pen number to the layer, or the color, really. Um, it just depends like what it is you're doing. For now, we don't need to worry about this screen, um, but basically this is a window of your model space. And we can, so that is an 11 by 17. So if you double click, you activate the paper, the model inside and then you can zoom it in and out. And then down here, this number, this is what scale you are at. So for now, we don't need to worry about this, but if you needed to print at 1 16th inch, you could click that, and that's how big it would be. We were drawing really small, so it's microscopic. So you could probably print that almost like one to one. So if we select the window, go back, you can go to like, let's try one to four. That's pretty close. So then we change one to four to one to two. So see, at this scale on an 11 by 17, it won't fit. So then you could go back and say, no, I want to use one to four. And now if we printed it out as a PDF, it would print that. Does that make sense? And then you can name these. You can add more of them. You can have 50 different windows. They can be different areas of your model, it could be different scale, some could be zoomed in, some could be zoomed out, or it could be the same size, just different size pieces of paper, like 11 by 17, 8.5 by 11, or 24 by 36, just, you can do a lot of different ways. And if you go back to the model, think of this as just a piece of paper, and it's like got a camera on top of your drawing. So wherever you do in the model, this camera sees it, and it puts it here. You don't have to model here. You just model in model space. If I added, let's say I added like a big circle across here. And I go back and look at it here. See that circle appears. You don't have to redo anything. I don't like that guy. So let's get rid of him. So now what I want to do.